What's going on, everybody? This is Jason from Glitch in the System. This is another episode of exploratory testing. Today, we're going to be testing Wingstop. You know the drill. 15 minutes, find as many bugs as I can. Let's go. And today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. At the end of this video, I'm going to order something from Wingstop and see if they can get my order right. All right, let's get started. So first thing you see on Wingstop is that we have some promotional modal help. Buy one, get one free sandwich. Might take advantage of that later. Their site looks pretty good. I like how they are kind of organizing thing. Hey, look, they have a localization thing where you can actually change it to Spanish. That's pretty awesome. And you can see everything's in Spanish now. One thing I don't understand, why is there a pause button and a play button? I put my headphones in just to make sure that it wasn't actually playing some audio or something. I don't hear anything, so I don't know why that is there. Take a look at menu. They got specials, sandwiches, specials again. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and jump on over to flavors, see what they got going on here. So this is a very cool site, has a different background, and it shows you what kind of flavors that they have and the heat level. This little slider, it's not like a slider where you can like set it anywhere. It is basically like set points. So these set points are probably corresponding to the number of, I think these are flames. It's a pretty smart little dial because you can see that there's actually a left and a right. So the right cannot go past the left. So I'm trying to drag the right one over here, but it won't let me. And it knows that the right one is on top. The left one cannot go past the right. Like I said, it knows it's on top. And then they have this toggle here between wet and dry. I'm going to turn this all the way up to atomic and I'm going to toggle dry. I'm going to toggle wet. So I don't know if this is on or off because they have like a shade of yellow and a shade of green to the right is on, which would make sense because usually left is off, right is on. It'd be nice to be a little bit more clear that to the right is means that you're filtering for dry versus wet. Oh, that's interesting. So now I can't move it back to the left when I have this uh, toggled like that. So this is broken now. I can't move it at all. So what I did was all the way to the right, it still can move, toggle it, and then try to move to the left. Let's untoggle that, try to move it to the left. Basically, these little things over here break this uh, slider once they're toggled. Let's do it the other direction. Move all the way to the left so that can move, stay wet, so that can still move, dry, so that can still move. What it looks like is happening is that, and I'll prove my point here, I'm going to move this one to the center about there, move the left one to, on top of it. So the left one is on top at the moment. Let's toggle this type. The left one is no longer on top, and I'll prove that by going to the right. So now the right one is on top. So when you toggle this switch, this uh, slider sets the, sets the right slider on top, which puts you into a bad position when you get over here, and then you can't slide it back over without refreshing the page. Let's move on to other things. All right, wing calculator, need a hand with your order? Sure. How many in your crew? So you got snacky, you got hungry, or you got starving, and then I guess a slider is like how many people are in your crew? 20 people, then basically they said call somebody. So I guess they want to do like a party order. Yeah, so anything over 10, they want you to call and, and order, I guess. Um, I think this is kind of just set in increments that they felt made sense. Let's go ahead and hit the menu. I want to get that chicken sandwich deal. So where's the sandwiches at? Chicken sandwich. Let's do chicken sandwich order. So what do I got? Start order, uh, carry out. Let's try Los Angeles. Okay, it'd be nice if this thing popped up. So I typed that in, nothing popped up. Oh, it's just slow. So it took a good like three to five seconds to uh, load. Go ahead and choose that. Okay, and chicken sandwich. I got one option, a chicken sandwich flavor. Let's see, you can choose any of the flavors. Let's Lakers legendary garlic. Um, how many can you choose? Just one. And this site is extremely slow or... Okay, so let's take a look to see what's going on here. I'm gonna do maple sriracha here. Once you select something, I guess you can't just select something else. So typically how radio buttons work is that if you select something, you can select something else and then the first thing you selected will be unselected. But that's not the case here. You have to actually go back in and click that button again to unselect it and select something new. So let's go atomic. Toppings, include toppings. Select any that you would like removed. No pickles. Yeah, this is confusing. So included toppings. Select any that you would like removed, no pickles. So if you want no pickles removed, then you select it. Is kind of how I'm reading it, but that's not what it is. It's They don't need this sentence, but usually how they do it is like pickles, and then it says, has a little column here that says none, regular, or extra. So that way 
you can have extra pickles for upcharge if they want to, or they can have no pickles, or they can have just regular pickles. So I guess you can choose a dip. This is the same kind of thing. Radio button. But this one works like a radio button. So you can see I can select it, unselect it. So usually radio buttons, you can't unselect it, but whatever. Added it to the cart. Let's go ahead and go back to menu. Oh, actually, there's a buy one, get one free. So let's jack that up to, uh, where's my sandwich? Two. So the promotion was not automatically applied, but I think it was BOGO Sammy or something like that. Let's just try that. Okay, that was right. So let me just confirm that was the right one. So BOGO Sammy, correct. And it did remove the price of one sandwich. Cool. Can I increase that? So if I do four, do I get two free? I do not. So you can only get one free per order. And I guess this uh, text area clears. So you have to hit enter or plus. Oh, so if you hit enter again on that text area, it clears it out. Cool. Let's go back to the menu. I want to do something a little bit more complicated. Let's do a wing group pack. Under pack? Sure. All right, what do we get? So we can choose classic, boneless, mix and match. Let's do mix and match. Yeah, there's something going on with this site. I'm clicking here and it is like very slow. Like the page is literally just hanging now. I think Chrome is broken at this point. Let's go ahead and refresh. All right, so page unresponsive. I'm gonna go ahead and exit page, still totally frozen. I went ahead and opened a new tab up here. Let's try that again. And this time I'm gonna open up the inspector. Let's go to console network. I don't know why it totally crashed. Let's see, wing group packs, order 100. And let's try that again. So I clicked on mix and match. And trust me, I did click on it. So they got some cores errors, which is not good. They got some 500 error on something here for polyfills. Those are not good signs. Let's try to go ahead and select something else. Still, still not working. So I clicked on, oh, that time it worked. Took a while. Let's try classic. Some, something's not happy with this site. So I'm just going to click a bunch of things. And now it's not working at all, which is what I did last time. I just click, clicked a bunch of things trying to get it to work. Finally changed to something. And I think my web page is about to crash again so i'm just sitting here waiting for the site to respond at this point because it's not doing anything it's probably going to pop it's going to pop the error again that says wing stop is having an issue okay i think it finally responded okay so you have an add special request thing right here special request your only option is well done and they have to explain that well done means extra cook time and then you can see this uh, image is not supposed to be that big because that is stretched beyond quality. I do not want my chicken well done. Thank you. Just to cook it correctly. Let's choose some flavors. And it says flavors. So I'm expecting to be able to choose more than one. So let's do maple sriracha. Oh, how fancy can we get with this? Can we do like 20, 50? And it, and it, and it felt the need to change my selection of 20 to uh, evenly split it between the three instead of allowing me to do it. Let's see if I can move it again. So this no longer equals 100. I'll play with that in a bit. I want to see how many flavors I can add here. Can I add all of them? Will the Wingstop employees hate me forever? Okay, so looks like six is the max. I'm going to set, oops, I set that too low. Okay, so I'm going to set maple sriracha to zero. And we do not have 100 wings in the cart right now. But let's see what happens. Choose first large side. Uh, fry seasoning. Special instructions. Choose up to one. Okay, so large fries, Cajun fried corn, cheese fries. Let's do these Louisiana voodoo fries. That sounds good. Cost extra, but let's do it. Yeah, this is a lot. This is a lot. You're going to get lost in here. I would be surprised if I can get all the way through here without finding anything. Oh, and you can change the seasoning on stuff and you can say extra amount of seasoning. This is confusing. So uh, fry seasoning is a label, I think, or is there a thing called fry seasoning? I'm so confused because no seasoning, light amount of seasoning, regular amount of seasoning, extra amount of seasoning. That all makes sense. What is fry seasoning? I think that's supposed to be a label and then they just left it as a radio. Let's do that. And then large veggie, veggie sticks, no fries. I am so confused about what's going on here and I know that they're gonna mess up the order for sure, <laughs> because this is confusing. I guess large veggie sticks, you can get it with no fries or you can get large seasoned fries. Does that come with veggie sticks? So let's try to do one of these with that no fries option. Does it remove one of the fries? Yeah, this this is super confusing. There's the sides are these fries, veggie sticks, 
And then there's a different kind of sides where it's like veggie sticks and fries. And so it's basically the same thing, but you can, you get charged for fries here. Up here, you don't get charged for it. So if you ask for veggie sticks as a side, why do they need to write no fries? Because they don't write fries here and they said no veggie sticks. So this is like a huge mess. I kind of see why it is the way it is, because I think if you're the QA for this place, you're just going to quit because this is way too many weird combinations of things. So you can choose random things of different dips. You can choose random things of different sides times eight. So these sides are different than these sides. And there's four variations, each with its own modifier. So like your fries can have different seasonings. Uh, your chicken is going to be different, se different seasonings, all that stuff. So this is just a big mess. So I feel bad for whoever has to test this. Um, this could be designed better. Like, why do you need a separate column for each dip? Just make a thing that says ranch, blue cheese, honey mustard, cheese sauce, no dip. And then put a little counter next to this that says plus one, plus two, plus three. And then when they, when they get up to eight, then that's all the dip that they get. Much simpler than doing this cascade of things. Because if I was the customer also, this is super confusing and I have no idea what's going on. I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. I'm not going to continue poking at it because um, it's just going to infuriate me. What I'm going to do though is just go back to here. So this doesn't equal to 100 and my add to order button is disabled. Uh, it is most likely because this doesn't add up to 100, but they don't tell me that. So let's see if we can fix that. Okay, so if you uncheck it, so now it should be 100, but my add to order button is still disabled. Oh, I'm missing a side. So let's fix that. Okay, now it's enabled. So now let's go over here. So if I scroll it all the way over, it just unchecks it for me. If I check it, it sets it as zero and add it to order. So 17 is a magic number. And then watch, you see that? It's fighting with me. It won't let me go above 17. So now you're doing this game of incrementing these sliders that are very finicky. And if you don't have good dexterity, um, it's very difficult to get it to equal whatever number you want. There is this plus and minus button, but it is slow for some odd reason. And especially with this number of wings, it would be nice if they did the calculation for you that says you have 97 wings in your cart. So you need to add three more. I know what happens when I do that. So let's, let's, let's for for fun, let's slide everything over to the left. And then let's choose something I haven't chosen before yet. Louisiana rub. Gave me 100. Let's choose something I did choose before. Original hot. Interesting. So this little slider thing where it's like remembering that it knows it's at zero. This is cute and all, but it's not a good way to do it. Like I said, just put the names of each thing. Put a little thing that they can either say type in 50 wings, 50 wings, uh, instead of doing this slider, because I can't imagine what this is like on the phone. Let's take a look what this is like on the phone. So this is what it looks like on the phone. So let's try this. Choose flavors. So let's try the first one, second one, third one. Okay. So same experience, very hard to deal with. Uh, this little icon is close, too close to this radio button right here uh, because I did click on, on accident and it's very easy to accidentally hit it. So that's not good. But all in all, this page could use a huge revamp, just make it so much easier for people to use. Uh, and then it would be easier to test and it would be... Uh, probably get you a lot more sales because this is just infuriating to do it like that. Let's add it to the cart just for fun and just to see what it looks like. See, this is so much, this makes so much more sense in that format. Ranch times eight, veggie sticks times four, regular amount of seasoning times four. I don't know why you need to put the modifier there. It should be uh, seasoned fries times four, but yeah, anyways. But yeah, see, as you can see, this makes much more sense than the nonsense that I was just going through. All right, so I'm going to end it there. I did way more than 15 minutes, but it was just like madness in there. Um, so much to find, which is really funny because looking at the site, it should be very simple and easy, easy to use. But then once you start digging into it, you can see that it was just complex and maddening to uh, go through that process. I'm not going to order what I showed on the screen because I don't want that much chicken. I can't eat that much chicken, but I'll order a few things. I'll show you what I ordered on the screen and I'll show you what came out of the store and see what I get. All right, I'm back from picking up my order. It looks like they got everything correct. I got my two sandwiches, fries, and the wings that I ordered, plus the three sauces and the soda. So it looks all good from that point. It uh, looks like everything is sauced differently, so that is looks correct also. Uh, let's check out the sauce here if they gave me the right ones. So that one's ranch, so that's good. This one has to be blue cheese then. That one's blue cheese. And then they gave me a packet of cheese also, so all that is good. Um, I asked for the fries to be extra well done, and they look more cooked, so I think they are extra well done. 
give it a try pretty good all right so let's just make sure all the sandwiches are correct because they didn't label anything uh, let's go ahead and try this so that's pretty spicy Ooh, that's really spicy so that one must be the atomic they were not joking that is really spicy so this other sandwich has to be the Cajun. Yep, that tastes like Cajun to me. And then we just got the wings here. So four regular wings and then four of boneless. So the boneless should be the Korean, the Korean flavored ones. And then the regular ones are mango habanero. Make sure that's correct. Tastes like it's the Korean ones. And those are definitely mango habanero. Okay, so um, looks like they got my order correct. It was kind of a more simpler order, uh, but they did it correctly. Um, only thing that was wrong with the order is that I asked for it to be done at a specific time. So I don't know if they just ignored that or if it didn't come through on the order. So if you are interested in seeing a part two to this wing stuff video where I dive deeper into that crazy ordering system and show you more things that I find, leave a comment in the description. Or if you want to see me do that huge order with all the modifications and see if Wingstop can get it right. I'll do that if I can get a thousand likes on this video. But otherwise, that's it for today. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment below other places that you want to see. And then I'll see you next time.